the great in your right to choose But before you do Do you realize every story has two sides And if I told you every yes Well, I grew up in Eastern, <laughs> you know, and so uh, it, it means the world to me that I can come back and, and share all of this cool stuff that's been happening in the music business for me with everybody that I grew up with and, and friends and family, especially since the record uh, is more centered around you know, growing up in Eastern Kentucky, uh, what it's like to move out of Eastern Kentucky, being from Appalachia. But I always I wanted to come back and, and share it with everybody because uh, there's such a strong community presence around here. And, even though I'm living in Nashville and have been for five or six years, I still feel you know, like a, a terribly strong connection with everyone around here. Is, uh, there's an instrumental on there that I, I wrote. Uh, my dad uh, would always tell me stories about running up and down the hollers and, and playing. You know, there was a place behind our house in Eastern that was called the High Rocks. And they would go up there you know, just about every day and they would run around and play in this little flat. So uh, I kind of drew inspiration from that and wrote this instrumental, and it's uh, it's kind of a mesh between progressive jazz, bluegrass, rock, country, everything. <laughs> so it's it's a fun one. Well, uh, watching my dad play when I was a kid, dad used to be in a, a bluegrass gospel band, and uh, I would travel with them, and just you know, seeing him having that kind of interaction with uh, you know, the congregation and stuff, that's how I got started. Aside from that, my family has just a, a long list of pickers. Uh, I had an uncle, uh, Uncle T is what we called him. His name's T-Model, Sloan. And uh, he was kind of like a Doc Watson type. You know, he was just, he could play anything. He could pick up the guitar and burn it up and sing those old standard bluegrass songs and mountain songs, just like he was born in them, which he was. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a part of your heritage around here. And it's, it's a part of it that's so important to honor and, and, you know, keep the flame burning in whatever way that you can, I think. There's a lot of great musicianship on this record, so anybody that appreciates uh, you know, musicians and, and keeps up with pickers, uh, you're definitely going to want to listen to this one. Um, I've got uh, James Mitchell, he'd done a lot of work for Willie Nelson and, and, and guys down in town he played. The, the standing CMA uh, instrumentalist of the year, Janae Fleener, is playing fiddle on the record. Uh, Corey Cottle's playing keys. JT Cure from Elkhorn City is playing upright bass and bass, and I'm doing uh, the acoustic guitar. And then a guy named Steve Brewster is going to be, he's doing the drums. And uh, I mean, it's just incredible how these guys, they come together not knowing, never working with each other much, and you create something like this. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a homecoming, um, and I'm, I'm expecting to see a lot of familiar faces. Like I said, I always love getting back here just for the community aspect of it. I, I made this music, uh, wrote these songs with, with this place in mind, and uh, being able to share it just it, it means the world to me.